We anticipated a tight one between LIU and Fairleigh Dickinson for round three. Again, it's very hard to defeat a team three times in a single season. We mentioned at the top of the broadcast that the last time the Sharks did it was back in 2012 when they knocked off Quinnipiac in the middle of their three-peat. Trying to put away the Knights here in the first round. And after drawing the foul on Raquan Clark, Elijah Williams gets another free throw. This is the closest it has been for Fairleigh Dickinson in the second half. Both Williams and Clark with four fouls. And Elijah Williams comes through in the clutch. He leads the Knights with 16 points and eight rebounds. Fairleigh Dickinson with a nice fan base traveling over from New Jersey. Awfully quiet for most of the game, but starting to make noise for the final 309. Seven straight and a 10 to two run. Jackson loves that spot, but can't hit that time. Here we go, here's the final push from the Knights. Brandon Rush, Brandon Powell, the two underclassmen playing big minutes. Bishop contested. And an easy rebound for Flowers. And the Sharks outnumbered the Knights four to two for that rebound. Yeah, if somebody was gonna be shooting a three there, you want it to be done or Jenkins, yep. not Bishop. Again, the Knights have missed 17 of their 21 triples. Clark with four fouls, gets to the cup and one. Bishop the foul. And how many times have we seen that late in a ball game? A crucial bucket and a chance at three for the NEC's leading score. And he's gonna, if this free throw falls, he's gonna hit his season average too. So just continues to get his numbers day in and day out, no matter the stage, no matter who against. Not his night at the foul line, that's for sure. He's now 0 for 5. Yeah, and how about that? LIU 6 of 13 from the free throw line. They've left the door a little bit open. Jenkins splits. There's your boy Dunn. Thank goodness for Bishop. On the second chance, Bishop off the mark, and Williams right there to follow it up. Yeah, they basically need, though, a stop now on every defensive possession. Yep. And they're going to get one. Oh, there's a big one. Augusto stepped out. The Knights, with exactly two minutes left, have one timeout. One pumpkin looks to be about bursted with Robert Morris now up by Ooh. seven with less than a minute. Greg, it hasn't seemed like it's been FDU's night, but if they can nail a three right here, look out. There's the three from Jenkins. A long one to uh, cut it to four. If I'm Derek Kellogg, I'm calling a timeout. Regroup. Oh man, very dangerous pass from Jackson. A 12 to two run for the Knights. Raekwon. Back to the outside. Jackson looking up at the ticker. Flowers out to set the screen. Here's Bats. And Clark and Williams both with four. Racing to the rebound. All right, now you don't need a three. There's Williams, backdoor, Powell, two-point game. Derek Kellogg calls the timeout with exactly 60 seconds left. Another classic between the Sharks and the Knights, exactly how we drew it up. Bishop and Williams with four fouls for the Knights. Raquan Clark out there with four for the Sharks. Fairleigh Dickinson's got 16 fouls, LIU with seven, and both coaches with one timeout remaining. Seven straight for the Knights. 17 to four, the run. Step one, break the press. Step two, set up the offense. Augusto stares it down. Keeps his dribble and calmly gets it across. You gotta try to take the full 15 remaining seconds off here. And if you get a bucket on top of it, gravy. What do the Sharks have in store out of the timeout? Flowers. Oh boy, Jackson needs to force one. 
Can he get it off? He's rejected by Bishop, and time ran out. The officials immediately head over to the replay monitor. Even if there was time left, there might be a fraction of a second. So it's 31 and 2 tenths. One on the shot clock. Here's what they've got. Raekwon, can he get it off? And he did, but he couldn't get it to fall. Here come the Knights. No shot clock. Underneath, Williams, and one! The tie score is 71. Ty Flowers guilty of his third. And Elijah Williams with 20 points with one more coming at the line. Just to make it a 10-0 run. Brooklyn deafening. Nothing but net from Elijah Williams. Both coaches have one timeout left. Derek Kellogg urging his team to get across the timeline. Derek's letting them run it out. Here come the Sharks. Looking for the lead. Fitting that it's Raekwon Clark. The step back. Rejected. Got it back. Running out of time. Raekwon looking up. And we get a timeout from Derek Kellogg. The shot was waved off. That's the fun part right here. What will the look be for the Sharks off that baseline inbounds play? Unbelievable. Elijah Williams, just like Raekwon Clark a few weeks ago in Hackensack, skating through the second half with four personal fouls. And he has tied Ty Flowers for the game lead with 21 points, plus 12 rebounds. He's got a double-double. And right now, the possible game-winning bucket, plus an N1 to break the tie. Knights come out of it with Williams, Bishop, Dunn, Jenkins, and Powell. Let's see who the Sharks go with to send it in. Jermaine Jackson is going to keep it. This one for a trip to the semifinals. Jackson looking, goes to bat. Julian takes it in, off the window, and the Sharks take the lead. Eight tenths of a second, final chance for the Knights. Hail Mary, tipped, Sharks win, Sharks win, Sharks win. Julian Batts is the hero, and LIU is going back to the semifinals. 